Alright, here's the deal. See, whites, especially white trash, don't realize that the Nignogs will never be a threat to them. <coughs> I mean, let's face it. Whites are all these Nignogs have. Their community is greatly strained, and those blacks fortunate enough to have stability in family as well as economic foundation wisely avoid the more destitute of the Akata population for fear of losing this. But the whites tend to take them in, they tend to marry the Akatas, and give them the love and the structure that their community seems to lack. At least most of them. You see, I've noticed that, for instance, AA women are, they seem to be better off and more confident when married to white men. The same goes for AA males with Asian and white women. As much as many don't want to hear this. <coughs> See, I often hear American blacks saying silly things such as, I love being black and black is beautiful because they don't really love themselves. That's why they go around making idiotic statements like the Olmecs being black and best being in the middle of the mind calendar or their obsession with civilizations that had nothing to do with them like Egypt so they can relate themselves to the European culture. Which is also why they claim to be Moors. I mean, let's be real here. <coughs> if the Moors, the blacks, and the Arabs hadn't been in Spain, blacks in America wouldn't have given a rat's ass about them. You see, the reality is this. People who actually love who they are, they don't need to say self-assuring things like this because they're inherent. Normal people worry about being attractive. They worry about how appealing their hairstyle is. They worry about how their clothes look, if their job and car make them attractive, and how appealing the personality is. <laughs> but not how, not their race and natural features. Imagine Paris Hilton saying she loves being white. She doesn't need to say that. You won't see it ever. It isn't even on her mind. This isn't every case, of course. But the mid to low tier AAs tend to get their healing from going to other races because their community, if you even want to call it that, is totally dysfunctional. I told them to, I told this to some moron, but they didn't understand what I was saying. And this has happened before. You can check the comment sections. There's a bunch of people who do this and hit up my uh, comment section on my front page. You see these uh, semi-literate nignogs who don't understand what you're talking about because you either use profanity or racial slurs, and because they like canned arguments, tend to go onto pages and start going, fuck this guy, or they'll send a PM saying they'll kick your ass and all this nonsense. And and then if, when you try to give them your what you're actually saying, they come with canned arguments. They try to create a canned argument by talking about all this bullshit and then when you go oh, that's a bunch of bullshit here's what I'm saying that's a bunch of bullshit here's what I'm saying over and over they go oh I'm bored with you man you a sucker dog where's your knowledge and what they really want to hear what they really want to hear is some more canned BS like the white man is gonna get me um, the black community is so strong because they survived slavery which is nonsense because let's face it if I pay a thousand dollars per person, I don't want them to die. I want them to pick my cotton. I want them to cut my tobacco. I want them to cut my sugar cane. And I want to bang them in the ass and the vagina and rape their kids because I'm a slave master and you're my property. That's the deal. Oh yeah, and I also want you to bang my wife while I whack off in a chair because they did that as well. So they rape the dudes in the ass. They let you bang their wives and they jacked off while watching you bang their wives. Then they banged your kids and your wife and they do whatever they want with you because you're their property. That's reality. They didn't want you to die until afterwards. But she didn't fight back anyway, so who cares? And so they want these little canned arguments and this simplistic nonsense. And that's that's as and as soon as you step outside of that nonsense. As soon as you step outside of that, they get upset and they want to either ignore you 
or they resort to name calling and responding to only what they know about. Spouting all kinds of nonsense, hoping that you'll change your view, and once you don't, they concede defeat by saying that they are bored or or other things. And as soon as other people support you and say, man, you need to listen, they start flagging and whining about racism. That's it's, it's the same BS. You see, the, the, the thing is, the thing I've noticed about blacks is, is they don't like to be challenged. It's why they a lot of black videos, if they make a statement, they'll put a comment, a pending, uh, comment approval thing on their on their deal, or or they'll just delete every one of your uh, comments. Another thing they do is they'll just disable the comments altogether. They don't want to hear opposing views. They like their canned arguments and their simple little mentalities to remain. They don't want things to be too complex. As long as everything is in a neat little template for them to memorize when it comes to tackling problems or arguing a point, it's okay. But as soon as you tear down those illusions and make them face reality, blacks get angry, even violent. Yeah, I'll take the 60s for instance. The riots in the 60s, you'll notice people were killed by police and the blacks went ape shit. But they didn't kill the cops. And they didn't attack the government and institutional leaders who created this hostile environment. Nope. They attacked each other because it's easy. People in general act like this, as we saw in the UK. Turning tragedy and rebellion against the establishment into wanton violence against the innocent and petty looting. This is why I didn't bother talking about it. Because like, like many in the US, in the UK, a kid was murdered by the police brutally, and it was swept under the rug. People got pissed and took to the streets. Idiots got involved. People probably got fucked up, and the focus was then on blacks making it into something it wasn't. A race riot to gloss over the catalyst. They always do this. Some serious business happens, and then all these morons come out to ruin that and then they blame it on blacks or or other groups and and then they take the focus completely off of the socioeconomic um, catalyst they always do that so no one's gonna focus on the cops brutalizing the kids no one's gonna focus on the high unemployment in England no one's gonna focus on the high on the high food costs in England, the high transportation costs in England, the the the, the, the unnecessary uh, video surveillance everywhere, and all this other nonsense, the, the the wars that they're involved in all over the place. No one's gonna talk about that stuff, cause no one wants to hear that. They want to go, oh, it was a race riot, all oh, this and that, oh, it was a bunch of thugs. And another, and, and they just ignore that. Another thing that, and this is Western, like American media that does that shit. But the Brit, the British, they ignore their own problems and focus on the riot itself and the rioters. In America, they focus on the racial aspect because they don't, they ignore the fact that the racial landscape in Britain is a lot more complex than the USA. But those idiots don't want to say that because, like I said, it's all about canned arguments and easily digestible concepts that the masses like to see because they're idiots bitch